We're in our cover crop section. This was seeded in April and it's been growing and building um, since then, so about three months. Um, but essentially within our field rotation, we always have two sections that are um, partitioned off just to be in cover crop mode for the year, which means that we will plant a diversity of crops um, in the space to really feed the soil and give the space rest for the entire season. But this space also happens to attract like every department, every kind of mind on our property. So um, folks that are either creating bouquets or cooking or um, I don't know, soil scientists, everything in between, um, people are just flocking to this space to kind of understand um, what all of these different plants can serve as um, for all of these different purposes. So we've got some edible plants in here and some non-edible plants. Um, it's important for us to include a lot of flowering plants because as you can see it attracts a lot of pollinators. Um, so our beekeepers are super happy at this time of year. Um, and then, so that is mainly phacelia, which is this beautiful purple flower. Um, flax, which is this nice blue flower. And then uh, field pea, which is this beautiful purple flower. Um, and then in addition to that, we've got oats, um, which are at their milky stage, which the restaurant is about to harvest today, a bunch of them. And then all different other sorts of clovers, millets, sorghum, um, and what we'll do is we'll mow this at a kind of high point so as not to cut off the whole plant um, to encourage potential regrowth and then we'll plant some warm season crops um, after that mowing.